Vikas, there seems to be this question amongst investors now as to how much of the optimism is already priced into the markets. What are your thoughts on that? Fair point. I think one way to look at, you know, uh, and the right way of, uh, rightfully, you know, people can look at is the market is touching new high. But I think also we need to look at, you know, when the market touched last time new high from then to now, what has changed? I think, you know, from then to now, despite the lifetime high number being the same, I think you've seen the earnings have grown significantly from there on. I mean, that time, if I remember correctly, the valuations were around 22, 23 times multiple of the Sensec, which has come down to 14, 15. So, you know, in this period, earnings have grown. So I think we should not forget. So while it is both numbers are same, but on absolute basis, but on valuations, they are not same. Hence, that leaves a significant scope for the, you know, rally from here on. Number two, I think if you see, you know, the earning, I mean, in last you know, 12 to 18 months of a tough period, I think all the corporates have tightened the sort of uh, belt and, you know, businesses are a lot more leaner and meaner. And I think, you know, you, which was sort of reflected in the last quarterly earnings also, I think they were far, far better than, you know, most people's expectations. And this kind of earning momentum could be uh, definitely continued. Uh, not to say that, you know, I mean, uh, export had uh, and currency had a significant impact on this kind of earning momentum and which is likely to continue. So I think, uh, I, I would say that, you know, this is not only based on the uh, uh, optimism around the future improvement, but there are certain things which are sort of also uh, improving. I mean, export-led revenues have increased in the, I mean, whether it is pharmaceutical sector, in IT sector, engineering sector, you know, uh, some of the ancillary sector like auto component, all, everywhere I think there is a marginal improvement which is happening and that reflects into the corporate earning. So I think th while it appears that there is no sort of... Uh, 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 sort of change which has happened at the ground level, but this is a change at the ground level, I do feel. So, you know, one has to look at uh, that, in, uh, in uh, one has to keep that in mind. So, I, I do feel that this, uh, partly, you know, there is expectation post-state elections and, you know, in the recent part, whatever, past whatever development has been happening, it is sort of factored in. But still, I think, you know, I don't think it's a euphoric kind of situation. Still, I do feel that, you know, as... Uh, from now to sort of with the QE taper event also slightly behind, I mean, uh, behind us, I think from now to election, probably the optimism can continue. There could be a strong case for a pre-election rally.